Hello everyone. So in this lecture we will see uh, probability distribution. Basically we will see when we will apply Poisson or uh, binomial distributions. So we have these probability distribution. In probability distribution there are two categories. First is discrete probability distribution and second one is continuous probability distribution. So in discrete probability distribution we have multiple uh, probability distribution but we, we have written only three and in continuous also multiple uh, probability distribution but we are considering now only three. So first uh, discrete in discrete this first one is binomial and second is Poisson distribution. So we will see today in which situation we will apply binomial or uh, Poisson distribution. So we have some cases like case of coin. In case of coin we have two possibilities. Two poss possibility means one is head and second is tail. So if we are talking about probability of success that is probability of getting head this is noted by P and this equals to 1 upon 2 because we have two situations and favorable only one head. So this is 1 upon 2 favorable outcomes upon total outcomes. In that way, if you need to find probability of not getting head, that is tail, so you will write this as 1 minus p equals to 1 minus 1 upon 2 and this equals to 1 upon 2. And this quantity 1 upon 2 you can write as 0 0.5 and this also you can write as 0 0.5. So in terms of percentage, this quantity is considered as 50 percent and this quantity also considered as 50%. Now we are taking second case. Second case is of dice. In dice there are six possibilities. There are six numbers so six possibilities and these numbers from 1 to 6. So probability of getting a particular number this may be 1 or 2 or any other number. So the probability of getting a particular number in case of dice is 1 upon 6. And you can write this 1 upon 6 as 16.66%, 16.66% or second probability you can write this as 1 minus p, q equals to 1 minus p. So 1 minus 1 upon 6 that is 5 upon 6 and you can write this 5 upon 6 in terms of percentage. This is 83.33 percent. This is second case and we are considering one more case of 1000 houses. Suppose in a village uh, every year one house is uh, got fire. So the probability of getting fire, a house getting fire is 1 upon 1000. And you can write this 1 upon 1000 as 0 0.001 and you can write in terms of percentage. So this is considered as 0 0.1 percent and in that way you can also find probability of not getting fire. So this means 1 minus 1 upon P and this equals to 1 minus uh, 1000. So you can write this as triple nine divided by 1000 and in terms of percentage this is considered as 99.9 percent. So now you will see one important thing. In first case the number of possibilities two in second case number of possibilities 6, in third case number of possibilities are 1000. So as the number of po possibilities is increasing then the difference between uh, P and Q, probability of success and probability of failure. So in first case there are two possibilities, so probability is 50-50 percent and as the number of uh, possibilities increasing then the gap between probability of success and probability of failure is increasing. If this possibilities, these possibilities are very large, 
in simple way we can say if n is very large then there is big difference between the probability of success and probability of failure just like one more situation we can consider suppose if you have 1000 rupees if you have 1000 rupees and you are dividing this 1000 rupees in two parts first is 50 percent second is 15 50 percent then both are 500 and 500 this means both the amounts are equal and both are considerable amounts both are considerable and in second case there is change Suppose you have 1000 rupees for this second case and you are splitting this 1000 rupees in two parts, first in 16.66 and second is 83 point something, then this can be written as 166 rupees or 167 you can write and this is 833 rupees. In this 166 rupees you can purchase a local gloves and in 83 833 rupees you can purchase a branded gloves so this means these amounts again considerable now another case last case we have two probabilities now we are splitting 1000 rupees as per this allocation so in this case in this case this 1000 means this 1000 means first group is triple nine that is 999 rupees and in second one is only one rupee so you will see the difference there is big difference between one rupee and triple nine rupees this means you can do so many tasks in triple nine but you can't do in rupee one so in that case there is no considerable both the terms are not considerable both the terms are not considerable so in that situation when that there is big difference in probabilities or we can say if n is very large then you will apply poison distribution and if the difference is very less or no difference in probabilities or we can say if n is very small small n and in this case large n so if n is very small then you can apply binomial distribution so this is the very basic difference uh, or we can say the situation where we can apply a binomial distribution or Pison distribution. So I hope you understand this concept. So please like this video and subscribe my channel Janit Coach. Have a nice day. Thank you.